happen with the indexer? Indexer is going to go where? On, on, on the one you have, you have that cam on the side that holding the drum, right? That's for the, uh, the diagram. Yeah, so this one here, the, what you have is called a uh, spring wheeled arm, that's what you have. You can have a plunger, so this is called a plunger. So what you have exactly, you don't have this design, what you have, you have the cam, and I think you have this little uh, wheel right here, and then you have the cam with the spring loaded. That's what you have. So this one, what's called? This one is called the cam, and that is the spring loaded arm. How about if that spring is broken or is not there? What's going to happen? That cam is loose, right? When the cam is loose, that means what? The drum is not fixed, right? That, that means when you put it second or third or fourth, will pop because the cam is loose. You want to hold the cam in place, right? That's why you need to have a plunger or spring loose arm. You got that thing? So indexer is very important to keep what? To keep the gears in place. Otherwise, the transmission will pop in that gear. The spring is very important. Yeah, spring is very important. I have to put the, the right spring. How about if you put a strong spring? What's going to happen if you put a strong spring, like spring different than the, the stuck one? Will be will be too hard to shift. How about if you put a weak spring? Will be easy, will be easy to, to shift and it may pop. Are you guys following me? Makes sense. So you have to put the right spring. Go to the dealer. After mark springs may not last that much. The spring can, 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 can break, yes. They can break and you have to put the right spring. So we have spring loaded plunger, we have spring short. 